Hello everybody, it's Redbeard Anubis, and welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. We are back once again with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office, and uh, today we're driving the Cheval Fugitive. This is part of the BCSO pack. I uh, will make sure I go ahead and link that in the description below if you want to check it out, you want to download it yourself. This is what the light looks, setup looks like on this vehicle. Pretty sleek. I do like the Cheval Fugitive. It kind of reminds me of the Caprice, so good vehicle. Anyway, we're going to be getting out on patrol here in Grapeseed mostly today with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. But right now we're doing some radar 31 and a 25. Slow down, buddy. You're just at my giving you something. Now you're going a little too slow. But anyway, guys, we're going to get out on patrol here. So 129, I'll be signal 5023 out of Grapeseed. And uh, we'll see what we can get into today. And there's going to be our first one. That didn't take long. We're going to be pulling over the Stratum. Got him at 34 in the 25 a zone. And he does not care about slowing down even with a cop behind him. And you just hit wildlife because of it. Mm. Yeah, buddy. You're totally getting pulled over for that. All right, 129, I'll be uh, 39 on a gray pigment, not a stag, not a stratum. It's going to be 67, Foxtrot, Lima, Charlie, 627. Target is 10-4. All right, let's talk with the driver. We're going to do the also lovely passenger side approach here. Hello, sir. I'm uh, Deputy Taylor with the Blank County Sheriff's Office. The reason why I pulled you over today is because your speed, 34 in a 25, didn't notice me behind you at all. And, uh, yeah. You hit some wildlife back there, too, man. Come on. It's your driver's license registration proof of insurance. You need to be paying attention more, man. Your name is James Taylor. James Taylor pulled over James Taylor. Right. Okay. All right, Mr. Taylor. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and stay in the vehicle. I'll be right back with you. All right, he's kind of nervous. No idea why. I'm not getting any odor of alcohol or drugs. But Assistance required. we're going to have and a canine come out. Because a canine can smell stuff we can. Copy that. Taking a look. James Taylor. Wow, there it is. Transporting an undocumented immigrant. Federal arrest. Interesting. The parking, blocking, and disabled. Wow, that's nice of him. Vehicle speed. We're going to go ahead and submit the citation. And we're writing out the citation slowly. And our backup is right behind us. So basically, in order to call it a canine a traffic stop, you can't detain someone. They have to be here in a reasonable time. So that is what's going on now. They're coming in a reasonable time. Here they are. Gotta love it. Alrighty. Oh, look at the puppy. Gotta love that canine skin, too. Puppy in the back, finally. All right, perfect. I was going to say, why is he sitting in the front seat? I do like the uh, skin, though, they got here. It's not part of the BCSO pack. It's actually standalone. I got off the War Mods uh, the Discord. All right. All right, Mr. Taylor. Here goes be, This is going to be your citation. Go ahead and sign it here. It's not a mention of guilt. Saying you're going to take care of the citation or show up to court for it. It is waivable. Just call the number on the back. They'll tell you how to take care of that. And a court date is two weeks from today if you do intend to fight it, okay? Just so you know, before I let you leave, I'm going to have this canine officer run their dog around your vehicle. You're acting kind of nervous, and I have a feeling that there may be something in the vehicle. So go ahead and just stay in the vehicle while the officer runs their dog, okay? Do not move from the vehicle. Do not anything else. Just stay in the vehicle for me, okay? All right, man. 
So he's going to go ahead and just stay in the vehicle. I'm going to go through the part of death there. K9 unit's going to go ahead and uh, inspect the vehicle. Suspecting the vehicle. Oh, he did not alert. He's just nervous. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. All right, Mr. Taylor. I appreciate your cooperation. You are free to go, sir. Wait till I get back to my vehicle, okay? Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Acting all nervous and whatnot. Maybe he's just nervous. Possible. So, Mr. Taylor's gonna go ahead and get out of here, and uh, so are we. Yellow underglow, you're lucky it's not red or blue. All right, 129, I'll be uh, 23 with one citation. All right, guys, let's see what else we can get into. Okay, that didn't take long. 38 and a 25. We're doing some traffic up here in Grape Sea today. Get animal control out for that in a little bit. And he's driving kind of reckless here. Alrighty. What are you doing? All over the road. Dude, pull over. Wow. All right, 129. I will be uh, 39 on a gray Cheval Fugitive San Andreas license 63 Delta Juliet Whiskey. Target vehicle 233. license plate 63 David Wade. John William 233. A traffic felony. All right, Approach with caution. All right, let's go talk to Mr. Wade now. Okay. Hello, sir. I'm W. Taylor with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. I pulled you over for going 38 in a 25 mile an hour zone coming into Grape Seed there. I need to see your driver's license and registration proof of insurance. All right, Mr. Wade, wonderful. Go ahead, step out of the vehicle for me. Driver refused. Okay. Mr. Wade, I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle, sir. Backup needed. 129, driver is refusing to exit the vehicle, requesting one additional to this location. Copy, that's a code two, on our way. All right, Mr. Wade, here's how this is gonna go. You're gonna either step out of the vehicle or I'm gonna arrest you for obstruction. You, If I order you to get out of the vehicle, you have to, okay? I can go over the case law, but it is a case law. I can't order you out of the vehicle to, to do so, okay? You're not gonna stand here and play this game all day. So this other deputy gets up here, you better make the right decision because if not, I'm coming over and yanking you out. All right. All right, Mr. Wade. I got your cover. So what's it gonna be? Gonna step out? Whoa. Turn around, place your hands behind your back. Do it now. Thank you. All right, sir. Come on over here. Got anything illegal on it's gonna poke me, stick me, piss me off in any way? What are you under arrest for? I'll explain all that in a minute. Just relax. Okay, drug paraphernalia. Gonna go ahead and run Mr. Wade's information one more time. 
suspended. All right, Mr. Wade, you are placed under arrest for driving on a suspended license, and uh, you're also going to be arrested for the uh, burnt spoon, okay? Now I'm going to give you a mulligan on getting out of the vehicle, because you did get out of the vehicle when I asked you a second time. You're lucky. I asked you, then I told you, and you complied. If I have to make you, you're getting a charge. So, good on you. I'm going to cut your break on that one. You don't need something extra. You got anything else illegal in that vehicle that I need to know about? Because we are going to search it before it gets impounded. No? Okay. We'll find out. All right, go, let's go ahead and search the vehicle. Okay. An empty baggie with black powder residue goes along with the drug paraphernalia. A dollar bill covered in powder. And the locked briefcase. We are, we're going to need a warrant to open that because it's a locked container within the vehicle. Um, so, we'll, uh, we'll submit for that one. All right, 129 requesting a 35 to my location. Assistance required in Grapeseed. I just requested insurance. Wow. That's not what I wanted. I wanted tow service. Or we could call that detectives. Nah. Not really. I accidentally dismissed my buddy because I thought I would dismiss them. Alright, well. Derp derp. Click the wrong one. It's my bad. Can I take a seat, sir? We'll do some drug tests here on what we found on him. All these blank county units want to know what's going on here. Like, who? hey, we hear you got traffic stop. What's going on? Don't worry about it. We're all good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, Mr. Wade here. We're going to create a citation for the speeding and make that a notice to appear because he's going to have to appear with the other charges here. He was arrested for driving while suspended. And I didn't submit that case because I forgot to test. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Field narcotics test. Let's do this first. All right. Metal spoon with black powder residue. Let's see what he got. Uh, positive for heroin. So he's got uh, the baggie with residue. I don't know if it's enough for a charge. We'll charge him with the paraphernalia. And that's good enough for me, honestly. Mr. Wade, create an arrest report. License suspended, drug possession. And we'll just hit him with a drug paraphernalia charge. He had no actual drugs on him. That baggie with residue wasn't enough to test. So go ahead and submit that. All right, Mr. Wade is going to get that. Let's go ahead and get out. And we're going to give the vehicle citation to him. All right, sir, I'm going to go ahead and put on here that you can't sign because you are in custody. But I'm going to give this to you so you have a copy of it. And 129, requesting a 36 to Main Street Grapeseed. Assistance required in Grapeseed. All right, so another unit's going to come out and grab him. Take him down to the station to uh, process him in for uh, his charges. I mean, simple, simple things can happen from traffic stops. Uh, you can be just going along, you pull someone over for something like that vehicle. I could pull them over. Six over is kind of pushing it in my, in my mind. But uh, yeah, so that's the way that works pull someone over for speeding or whatever and next thing you know you got a driver with a suspended license and he's got drugs on him so I'm always a big proponent of traffic stops this is our transport vehicle or is the one behind it 
It's an LSSD unit. What the heck are they doing up here? Are you lost, bud? In the wrong county. Maybe they were doing a suspect transport. That's possible. This is our vehicle, this Granger. Come on. Wait on you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. You go ahead and take uh, Mr. Wade here. Goodbye, Mr. Wade. All right, they're going to take Mr. Wade into custody, and we're going to get back out on patrol. 129 will be 23. One arrest. All right, guys, let's see what else we can get into. We're going to try to take one call, possibly another traffic stop. We could pull them over for failure to yield on... Uh, this dirt roads to the main road, but uh, we're going to let it slide. No one was injured and the vehicle did stop, so we're going to go ahead and try to take a call out here. Enough traffic for one day, unless we see something crazy on the way. We have an 11351 in Grapeseed. 129 will be in or out. Alright guys, we're going to report a police impersonator operating here on uh, Grapeseed. Uh, 911 call pulled over by a non-uniformed Oh, security guard. One twenty nine vehicle is going to be taken off from um, from us. It's going to be a Mayweather security patrol. We're going to be in pursuit of that vehicle. Suspect is on foot. Vehicle subject is not in a security uniform. Dude, just stop. 129, uh, requesting more additionals. Subject is going to be run. Alright, foot pursuit, foot pursuit. It's going to be uh, CV Road. Dude, stop, you're going to get tased. Going to get tased. Oh, the tase missed too far away. I knew it. Come on. Subject is continuing to run parallel CV road and the Alamo C. That deputy's probably like, man, this guy's stupid running after him and I could just drive after him. Yeah, no, I'm kind of feeling that way right now. Dude, you're gonna get tased. How much stamina does this guy got? Come on. No way I'm chasing after there's a guy on foot for this long, ever. Come here. Yeah, there we go. No, 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 no. Dang it. And now my taser out. Longest foot pursuit ever. Taser. Taser deployed. Don't make me use this. I told you you're gonna get tased. Ah, you want another one? No, 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 no. Get down on the ground. There you go. Great work. Subject in custody. Bruh. What are you doing? Come here. <sighs> now we're going to go all the way back to my vehicle. Yeah. Before we do that, got to think a legal onion that's going to poke me, piss me off, sick me, anything. Appropriate answer is no, but. Kids police badge, a loaded pistol. He's got a gun permit. Well, he's going to lose that now. Martin Levon. Home people over in a security cruiser. Okay. Thank you, cop. Gotcha. All right, Mark. Martin. Yeah. Let's go back over to my car. I'm definitely writing a report on this one. Come on. Come on. All right, guys, we'll see when we get back over there. All righty. Finally back over by my vehicle. <sighs> Come on. 
Come on. Where is it at? Come on. Take a seat, dude. My question is, where is his vehicle? We're gonna go ahead and head back and see if it's still there. I think another unit probably took care of it already, but we're gonna check. Yep, it's not here. Okay. All right, we'll just pull off right here then. Go ahead and hit our lights for now. Martin Levon. He's got a clean record, too. Dude, you're such an idiot. All right. So he's got a possession. So he's possessing the firearm legally. However, he is impersonating. So, impersonating a police officer and resisting arrest and also evading arrest. He's going to get them all. Dude, you're an idiot. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Assistance required in Grape Seed. Yep, 129 requesting a 36 to CB Road for one mail. All right, there's Blaine County Transport pulling up. They're going to take him into custody and everybody that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And, of course, we shall see you on the next one. Take care and have a wonderful, wonderful evening.